Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Player at Second Swing. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm always excited when I get to test new putters out. Yeah, we got the Ping Hepler putters, new for 2020. We're at the Minneapolis location today, down in the putting area. We got to test out, we have four models here of the nine total in the putter, uh, the Ping Hepler putter series. Uh, we've got really a new construction here. They've uh, used cast aluminum and steel to kind of create a completely different feel and look, really, that we're used to from Ping. So. The nine models uh, from Ping. We have the ZB3, we have the Answer 2, you have the Piper C, the Piper Arm Lock, the Time 3, the Fetch, Floki, Catch, and the Tomcat 14. I'm excited to test them all. I know you mentioned there's nine, I think there's four new models by the, by the Hepler in 2020. I'm excited about even testing the arm lock model as well. I like the fact that they included that in there as well. Absolutely, yeah, I know you're an arm lock guy yourself. I know you play um, with the arm lock model. Uh, but, you know, with the, the big thing I noticed, you know, we did, we did some testing, we've done some, uh, just by looking at the feel and comparing to the Sigma a little bit too, we'll get into, but the firm feel and kind of the little bit louder sound was the initial takeaway here. And that's due to the cast aluminum construction with steel um, that they've implemented here. And they don't have a face insert unlike the hat they have had in the Sigma. Yeah, I, I like that it doesn't have an insert. It is a lot firmer. I could notice that even when I was kind of playing around with them, just my nails on the, yeah. on the face. They're really quiet. <laughs> or, you know, hitting some sh shots versus the Sigma 2. Definitely a completely different feel off the face. You know, it may be better for those players that need a little bit more of acceleration, a little bit firmer faster movement off that club face mm -hmm. with that firmer face. Yeah, and now depending on your stroke type, obviously there's, um, if you have a strong arc, slight arc, or you know, you're straight back straight through this, uh, this line does have a model for your stroke. Any golfer out there with any type of putting stroke is going to have uh, a model to choose from here in the Pepler series. And again, this, I mean, it's a beautiful construction. You got that copper with the black kind of contrast there. So it's, again, a different look from Ping but it, uh, it presents really well at address and throughout the series as well, you have great uh, alignment aids as well. Yeah, all models range from 355 grams in weight to 370 grams in weight. Your blade types like your, your Answer 2 and your uh, ZB3, those are gonna be a little lighter models. And then your higher MO, MOI models mm -hmm. like your, your new Tomcat model, it's gonna be a little bit heavier, more mallet style. It's gonna be a little more forgiving and easier to get that full roll of trader. Now, I know that they've done, they've got a little bit, I think, heavier shaft here um, versus past models from Ping Putters. Um, how is that going to work into the putter fittings that you do in the stores? Yeah, so it's actually a little bit stiffer golf shaft. With the uh, Sigma 2, you know, they created this adjustable golf shaft. Essentially, mm -hmm. you can range from 32 inches to 36 inches. It's the first year they did it. I noticed last year that you know the shaft was maybe just a little bit wobbly, maybe not as stable. So they made some slight adjustments there with, with this, so it's much more stable um, going through, but still adjustable. So you still have your PP59 mm -hmm. grip as a, adjustable from 32 to 36 inches. I kind of wanted to touch again on the comparison to the Sigma 2, right? So you know what we did a lot of was we tested the Tyne model of the Sigma 2, and then the, the Tyne model of the Hepler. Um, you know, really the, the big takeaway was how it felt, right? I mean, with the, the Sigma 2, you got really soft feel and really quiet, almost no noise at all, depending on how far your putt was. And then with the Hepler, it was just firm, solid, uh, a little bit louder. So, I mean, from a, I'm not sure, from a fitting perspective, that's gonna be about what the player prefers. Some players do prefer that soft feel, muted sound, and some prefer a firmer feel. Uh, in that case, the Hepler series might be for you. Yeah, that, uh, the Sigma 2 was, basically muted. I yeah. mean, if you're kind of comparing the two of them, mm -hmm. it is very noticeable that the Hepler is a much firmer uh, contact off, off the face. Now, what did you think of the look? Like, I, I mean, I commented again, the copper with the black contrast, great feel. And these uh, faces don't have any grooves or anything on them. They're just straight yep. solid. Uh, but what did you think of the look and feel, uh, particularly, I guess, when you compare it to the Sigma? I mean, there's the different color scheme. And again, we've talked about the feel a bunch already, too. Yeah, I love the black copper and even the white that was mixed in with alignment aids to it was really really sharp so it was really easy to get that putter lined up i have the uh, tomcat 14 model in my mm -hmm. hands and i just noticed with these white lines the white mm -hmm. dotted lines here it really helped me line it up i felt like just everything was really the contrast of everything was very sharp 
and very easy to look down at. If it's, say, very sunny outside, you know, if you're not wearing sunglasses and it's really sunny out, this is a great option because mm -hmm. it's not gonna, you're not going to get that reflection as well. Great uh, job here by Ping, really, to give you nine miles in total with the Ping Hepler putters in 2020. Thomas, thank you for joining today. Not a problem.